This is a mock interview conducted by Forum IS Academy at New Delhi. The interview panel includes eminent professors, retired bureaucrats and other luminaries. The objective of the program is to acquaint the candidate with the format and expectations of the personality test conducted by UPSC. tell me four tools of monetary restriction monetary contraction and and four tools for fiscal contraction um, uh, for monetary con contraction we can use repo rate so if we uh, what is the full form of repo rate by the way uh, um, it's a uh, repurchase uh, 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 agree agreement uh, i'm not able to exactly recall the term Please but remember it okay okay all right and repo rate uh, we increase we increase the repo rate then money supply decreases and uh, ma'am if we there is also a reverse repo rate if we uh, again ma'am uh, uh, decrease the rate then money supply decreases and there is also open market operation so if go, if rbi uh, uh, okay ma'am if rbi sells uh, the uh, or government securities then money supply also decreases and recently they have used a uh, standing uh, deposit facility that is also there what is that explain it to me ma'am uh, it is a part of uh, monetary corridor in which uh, it is below uh, the repo rate by 1% explain to a generalist what it is ma'am it is a tool uh, where uh, banks can borrow from the rbi for the short term without any collateral so it's a just a uh, new term for the reverse repo rate and for the physical contraction ma'am uh, one of three you said and a fourth one ma'am fourth one is the standing deposit facility and okay, again third one and ma'am if i uh, if i have to add one more then there is a moral association that uh, are about crr and slr ma'am definitely you are definitely to hai but why would don't you say it okay yeah, yes, what about fiscal contraction ma'am for physical contraction we can use taxation in the government can increase the taxation they can reduce their expenditure who is expenditure Uh, government expenditure uh, on for example capital expenditure or revenue expenditure and again ma'am uh, they can uh, increase uh, the tax rate, taxation rate on for example on excise or custom duty you have duty. just said taxation rate ma'am for physical contraction i am uh, where are only two part It's like fiscal. they fiscal i was talking fiscal no right? physical not yes. physical and where will uh, promotion of demand come how what are instruments for promotion of demand tell me one or two promotion of demand ma'am okay ma'am demand can be stimulated by uh, both side from monetary and as a physical side for monetary side uh, rbi can use for example repo rate let monetary side b okay ma'am for physical side government can increase the expenditure on for example for example on uh, building be specific not increase expenditure through general how can demand be moved today in india which sectoral demand is is low and how to increase the how to stimulate that demand ma'am we can focus on which uh, demand in india today is sluggish which particular aspect of demand do you know yes ma'am uh, demand from the private consumer in the lower strata is struggling as per the rural demand rural demand yes ma'am it will be general and how do you stimulate it ma'am ma'am giving uh, again safety net through the people giving uh, some uh, so why don't you say give example specifically what we can uh, focus on income transfer ma'am so income transfer is a good way income transfer subsidy subsidy you be all this which has been the most impactful government scheme to your mind need not be this government could be any government and why ma'am pm jan dhan aadhar uh, yojana is jan dhan aadhar what is that uh, trinity one scheme, scheme uh, it's the trinity where the aadhar has been linked to the again public service delivery that's the more most prominent and it is it is again uh, praised by the world bank because why it, do we even need endorsement from outside uh sorry ma'am uh, we don't need an endorsement from outside we need our own impacts you know 
Yes, ma'am. I because agree. Because when we like, we say the world is against us. Foreign media is against us. World Bank, IMF is against us. World Bank is against us. No. Uh, so look at it on merit. What are the what is it that is so impactful about it? Ma'am, it increases the quality of uh, public service delivery and reduces the inclusion and exclusion error, and again reduces the corruption because it. Ah, yeah, DBT is efficient. Direct transfer yes, moves out the layers. Yes, ma'am. And goes there. That's there, but that's efficient. not necessarily the most. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Now there is this. Uh, Controversy about this brain chip. Now, yes, what is that? Who has come out with it, and what is the controversy? And the brain chip uh, issue uh, is regarding the Neuralink company that was owned by the Elon Musk. The issue is regarding the ethics. Uh, for example, they are using the chip to control the human brain uh, to basically so stimulate. What are the issues? Ma'am, issue is regarding the eth ethical part. First of all, they are not transparent, hmm. so uh, they have not they have not shown the results publicly. And again, ma'am. Uh, if i talk about uh, there is no regulation regarding it so that's it uh, and that's all i'm, I'm aware about and ma'am uh, again they have done some experiment on monkey that was already done uh, years ago so people are saying all it right. is not right. the right you're a mechanical engineer yes ma'am what is so special about the vande bharat you know vande bharat uh, train has the bogey bogey design of lhb Uh, so these LHB bogies have vibration control, ma'am. And again, for uh, the coupling of the train is advanced, so that in case of accident, it can be decoupled. What about the engine, ma'am? Uh, it has uh, the LHB bogies uh, has a motor in installed into it, so it can uh, accelerate. Engine less, no? Engine less. Yeah. That is the first thing to say. Couple, couple, to baat ki baat hai. Last question. <coughs> um, we have been given a lot of importance to Qatar and to. Abu Dhabi to UAE. Huh? Um, first, tell me very quickly two examples of this in Qatar and two examples of it in UAE, and then tell me why. Ma'am, for Qatar, if I talk about recently, we have seen that government has engaged with the Qatar uh, for uh, again uh, uh, eight regarding the eight ex, M, ex uh, navy men who were given uh, death sentence. So they have they have been released. On the diplomatic front, we have engaged them, and again, ma'am, for the LNG imports, we engage with the. Be specific. What have we done on LNG? Ma'am, uh, we have planned to increase the LNG imports. What have we done? We have signed an agreement, twenty-year partnership deal. Be precise. Yes, ma'am. Round, round, round. Okay. Huh? Ma'am, on the UAE front, ma'am, recently Prime Minister has visited, so we have increased our partnership regarding the uh, uh, Middle East. a uh, european corridor as a part of a uh, uh, g20 so we will what is the route of the corridor as far as the you know, these countries are concerned the gulf countries which are the ones it touches ma'am it will be passing from uae and then saudi arabia and then to mediterranean and then it will be going to greece and uh, so to europe is, have you heard of a temple yes ma'am and again for the uae uh, temple again is coming on and um, again so uae why? is now why tell me why tell me in one sentence why Ma'am, it is a part of cultural uh, integration with the world. Thank you. So, you have worked with uh, Hero Honda. Yes, ma'am. Tell me one thing: why electrical vehicles are not getting that popular in our country? Sir, there are several issues with the electrical vehicles. First of all, the limited range. The currently, the technology has limited range on the vehicles. Sir, again, the charging infrastructure. in country we have uh, not that uh, good charging infrastructure as in usa and sir uh, the third third and the most one is the cost the high cost of electrical vehicle compared to the diesel or ic engine car so this is the current issue that are uh, causing the issue for the evs back of the market all right how do you view the stance of reserve bank of india on cryptocurrency so reserve bank of india uh, again uh, i tweeted several times that uh, cryptocurrency uh, the unregulated cryptocurrency in the market for example bitcoin could lead to uh, adverse impact on our monetary policies and could be a channel for black money and again uh, tax evasion so they have reiterated that uh, rather than using cryptocurrency we should use our own uh, currency central bank digital digital currency for transaction so their view is on more on the regressive side not on the positive side All right. What do you mean by regressive? Uh, so I say uh, they used to look the uh, cryptocurrency as a way to uh, basically the negative way. For example, they are seeing uh, seeing as a 
way that people can tax evade for example uh, they can invest in tax havens terrorists can also invest money laundering type of thing so they are saying the positives are uh, far less than the negatives that are posed and since it is unregulated it cause uh, it can cause great harm to monetary policy mm -hmm. all right so indian foreign service is your option number 33 all right. so our external affairs minister as jashankar they said that lord krishna and hanuman they were our earlier diplomats all right so in my view both of them are flopped and failed diplomats because ultimately uh hanuman case a fight a war was there so is case of lord shri krishna mahavat was there so how do you assess sir i back to differ on that point sir the hanuman lord hanuman first went to uh, the sri lanka lanka so do you agree you they were diplomats sir i can say that they were kind of diplomat uh, they first of all tried to persuade the other side party that we should avoid war and uh, we should uphold the truthfulness what is true and uphold the dharma but again after uh, like the other party was not uh, convincing from that point and they were so rigid so in that case uh, sir war is inevitable uh, like diplomacy is the way in between but if someone is going on the extreme side then uh, definitely sir uh, like to uphold the dharma we have to uh, 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 go for the, go, go for it in galwan we had violent clashes with china all right still we are having more than 100 billion dollars trade with china right and past so many years we did not have that type of uh, high scale violent clashes with pakistan yet we don't even talk to pakistan don't you think it's a kind of double standards on our part sir it is linked to the our national interest sir china is part of uh, linked to our supply chain part so we import most of the things for example the manufacture good uh, things which is crucial for our domestic industries but on the other hand sir uh, pakistan is not so economically linked to india and again the aggression on pakistan is more of terrorism kind they used to uh, mostly influence our internal matter like in kashmir and again sir uh, in the for example they uh, sponsor state terrorism but with china sir uh, we need to engage it because we cannot again rebuild our industry our own own in short term again we can do that in long term but for the time being we have to engage with the china so that's in our national interest sir can you tell me the basic contents of the book written recently by our external affairs minister in brief i beg your pardon sir i am not aware all right ma'am Bhavav, you are a you are from a prestigious institute, yes, IIT sir. Kanpur. Yes, sir. You are a trained engineer. Yes, sir. One of the best in the country. Trained to be one of the best. Yes, sir. You have also find a patent at Hero. Don't you think you would serve this country better as an engineer? Though everyone has the freedom to pursue the career they want legally, you have the freedom. However, do you not feel that you would better serve coming from a prestigious institute as a specialist rather than as a generalist in the services? Uh, sir, being an engineer again, sir, I think uh, I am good at engineering part. but again sir i am not satisfied in that part i am i used to do uh, the engineering job and design everything but uh, the that uh, need not to motivate me sir so the again the issue that uh, plague me more is that the inequality in the society that we witness like people are living what is the guarantee that ias is going to quench your thirst you have been preparing for 3 years over 3 years now uh yes sir uh, sir ias can give me an opportunity to uh, serve the people directly and implement the policy better that will give me a satisfaction that what i am what i am i am doing is directly contributing to something again sir engineering could give me a way in the long run but uh, having to be in the short run for example satisfying me and again uh, fulfilling my social responsibility i think the ias and the ips would be, would be much better sir so i think that uh, motivates me more to pursue the ideas
what do you think country needs more better engineers or better administrators sir so i think country need both uh, as per niti aayog report they needs technocrat more than bureaucrat so having a technical background with generalist also approach is the way forward i think sir that can solve the rising issue that government is looking okay. for your optional is economics can you tell me what are the negative implications of having a huge forex reserve possible negative implications because we are every day talking about it that we have a huge forex reserve today it's building so possible uh, implication for the forex reserve one could be that uh, in case of devaluation in the foreign currency for example if for example foreign foreign some foreign currency goes for the war for example usa and some kind of devaluation happens or depreciation happen then we will lose on the forex reserve part so that could be one part so uh, the and again sir uh, Oh, sir, I'm not able to recall other. That's the debt one. trap, debt. Anything with that? Sir, again, I think forex helps to counter the debt trap because we have the uh, again safety How side. How is the new method of calculating GDP different from the old method? Sir, we have shifted. Uh, we have changed the uh, calculation method to market-based prices. So that's the one difference. We have changed the base year to two thousand eleven and twelve. that's the second point and in the agriculture part we have changed the method methodology to calculate the income and also on the industry side they have changed but i am not exactly affected our gdp calculation numbers uh sir as per the economic survey uh, the data has been uh, like the gdp data has been uh, somehow inflated i think that has been increased compared to Then the why has the government done this certainly the uh, intention of the government or the said policy objective would not be to inflate gdp then why was it done sir it is uh, done because uh, we are continuously moving so uh, uh, since we need to uh, examine the gdp from a base year so we are examining from 2011 to 12 but uh, previously it was uh, i think in the 2000 the year of 2000 so so you could have just shifted the base year uh, yes yes sir but again the market based prices helps to again examine the better betterly and it is a global accepted uh, methodology so it's a globally are... accepted methodology okay do you think this there is a lot of interesting stock exchange everywhere yes sir we see the ads mutual fund sahi hai so do you think the stock exchange the performance of a stock exchange stock exchange is a good indicator of the economic performance of a country sir uh seeing stock exchange in the long run could uh, give us a economic health of a country but again again sir in the short run i think the stock exchange does not depict the health of a country because foreign portfolio investors and uh, fii invest uh, in influence the stock market okay. at large uh, you are a mechanical engineer can you explain torque and power for me what is the difference between them sir torque is a movement if i give you one sentence each on torque and power and to explain to a common man how would you do it for a common man i would say torque is a rotational force for example a force into radius that a person apply for a power it's a for uh, torque is is okay it. what is the purpose of a differential in a vehicle sir so differential helps to uh, change the rotational velocity on different wheel so while taking a turn we can uh, have a smooth turn for example there will be no skidding and the for example the inner side of the car can rotate with different speed than the also outer while changing gears yes sir okay you have written here watching info infotainment is your hobby yes sir uh, what is two killer tiger uh, sorry sir i am not okay it is india's entry to the oscars documentary the elephant whisperer uh yes sir so it's a documentary on a, again a elephant part in the southern part of karnataka where a family tribal part madhuma yes. okay thank you webaf again i would say that give brief answers a suggestion would be whenever a question is asked take 2 to 3 seconds it's perfectly fine but your answer should be definitive and ma'am as ma'am said it should be 
Chris. <laughs> that is one thing that was lacking all over the interview. But what worked is that you have a good academic record, which holds you in good state that you have been consistently a good student. So I, that is always there in the mind of the interviewer also. But with that, the expectations also nice. rise from you. So definitive answers when I was asking the question about implication of Forex Reserve, top things that can come to your mind that opportunity cost could be one. Why do you want to build such a Forex Reserve? Then um, maybe you could have spoken about currency appreciation that impacts your exports. So except that obviously questions on uh, maybe future of uh, OTT. OTT versus cinema, what could be the advantages, disadvantages, how do you see it? Because nowadays, no one is untouched from OTT. Except that ma'am has comprehensively covered it. So my suggestions would be along the same lines, but be crisp and maybe some questions on gymming that how it has helped you in your journey. Definitely you would be expecting a question on someone can ask you about the research paper that you published. So obviously you would know about that in great detail. But prepare the key points only. Yes. So that is it. Okay. okay. Thank you, Vibhav. All you. the best. All the best. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All the Thank best you. is Bar Karu.